Hi guys, welcome back. Here we are today jumping in with another journal with me. I felt like I hadn't done a journal with me video in forever and now this is going to be my second in a row. I am just still really behind in my journaling and I really want to get caught up so I thought why not just turn on the camera, film it. Why not? Why not film it? Um, so that's what we're going to do today. I've got things sort of like plopped in there. Um, but now I've just got to get things stuck in there and then get writing happening. That's what needs to happen here. So let's jump over here. So where we were up to was this page. I think we did this one on camera maybe. I think I've added this in since then. But things will still get kind of plopped on there as I go along. But we're up to here. And I don't really, I haven't been good at taking notes again. I'm just getting so mad at myself. Like, for crying out loud, Lydia, take notes. Um, so this was the 16th. Oh, I did actually take notes on the 16th. That's good. So James, I took notes. I read the word James. That's why I said James. I did take notes here. I have not taken really very many notes on the 17th. However, I do probably have enough info in my brain that I might be able to write some things there. The 18th, did I take notes on the 18th? None. And then I did take notes yesterday. So we've got some things there. So we'll, I'll give myself a, a half pat on the back for that. Let's go over here and let's do some, some things. Let's see what we can get done. This is a beautiful, beautiful artwork that my Freya did for me. She did not draw this. I think Katie drew this. But the rest of it, Freya, oh, this one she didn't draw either. But this part, this part here she drew. And it's me, Aunt Lydda, and Uncle Jam Jam, that's James, um, and Freya are feeding the chicks bread, is what this beautiful illustration is of. And then she just put a lot of beautiful stickers on the back for me. Isn't that lovely? So I'm going to have to make a wee pocket to tuck this beautiful piece in, because that's special. Um, I love her art and I love how she folds. Isn't that just beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? How that folded? I love it. So that is needs to go on this day. So I'm going to need to make a wee pocket so that can get tucked in. Uh, this was out of my capsule and I wanted to use it this day because in bed in the evening at night time, in bed, I had a cup of tea and read my book. This is actually a journal, but it's kind of a book. So I was doing that and so I thought it was out of my capsule and I thought this would be very pretty to add onto my page for the day. This is not supposed to be on this day. This was maybe going to... I don't know when I'm going to use it exactly, but I'm potentially today because it's starfish and I went to the beach. I didn't see starfish, but I was at the beach today. Uh, I had this coffee from my mum's. It's one of those like pod things. Um, what else have I got here? These photos. I took some photos of my cat with all my journals and my big camera looking at them. Um, this was from my pottery class. Some photos I took at my of things I'm working on in my pottery um, and then this in the afternoon we were at my mum's and Freya got James my husband to jump into the bed with her to watch some spot together she loves spot so I took a wee photo of them and she kept like putting all the duvets over him to make him cozy it was so sweet she wanted she really wanted him to watch spot with her so they cuddled up and watched some spot it was so cute so and then this is from um Emily Jean's new printables with illustrated faith and I wanted to add that in so that's going to be on there too that's the plan well that's the the, the base layer I suppose of what I want to use uh, I will pull out my capsule again things have been getting plopped in there that do not belong in there classic me um, and we'll see if there's anything else like we might want to use this perhaps as our pocket to tuck Freya's card in maybe um, or maybe this cat, we could turn that into a pocket. That could be quite good. Few few thoughts there that could work. Um, or I've got this envelope. It's a bit tatty, but we can fancy pantsy it up. I don't know. I'm thinking one of these two is the pocket. I'm actually thinking the cat one because I've got these cute photos of my cat here. So I'm thinking that this might become the pocket on the page that this can then get kind of tucked into. I think that would be quite cute and then these photos of my cat can kind of come down maybe like this beside it so I like that okay I like that idea I'm going to add some writing paper down on the page first because I need somewhere to be able to write and obviously this is not super writing friendly so what do I want to include 
I'm, I'm just noticing this little book. I don't know that anything in here is going to work, but oh, that one could work. It doesn't look good with my colours though. Actually, this whole book is probably not going to be the right colours uh, and potentially not all that writable. The hearts one could work maybe. I don't know. I don't think that's quite the right one for me. Just fine. I just saw it there and thought I'd check. Um, is there anything else that looks good and writable around? Um, there's this paper. This could work. This could work. It's a good size, like a good width. Have I cut this already? Yes, I have. That's handy. Wait, yeah, it's just this one long strip. So let's tear a piece off because they're perforated. This is very handy. And then I can just cut off that like bent part and then it will just fit on there beautifully. Okay, so we need to cut it about about there so I just make a little crease then I can see roughly where I want to cut and I'm going to cut it on that line because that line is going to give me a nice guide as to making sure it's like remotely straight and then that is going to be a great little writing paper page like it's quite see-through but it would certainly be writable so let's go ahead and glue that on that's a great start excited about how this is working out so far How's your week been? Well, no, probably not how's your week been. It should be only Tuesday New Zealand time by the time you guys see this video and probably Monday for a lot of you guys because I know the vast majority of people who watch my channel are in the US, like way vast majority. It's actually kind of weird how majority it is that's US. I don't really get it. Like the US has a lot of people. I understand that, but there's like, it's like way majority US. I'd have to look it up again, but I feel like it was almost like 90 something percent of people are from the US that watch my channel, which I was kind of like surprised. I thought there's still a lot of people in other English speaking countries, but I don't know. I think it's a lot, lot, lot of US people. Okay, so that's a good start. I want something up here. It doesn't need to go the whole way down because we're going to have that pocket on there. So it could be just one of these... My Nana was here recently and she gave me this cute little notepad. It's just like, you know, little notepad. Um, and I've, it's very handy having this next to me because then I could just pop that on there. And then I've got that writing space. It's a good size. Um, I think that will work fine. So we'll get some glue on there. I'm making quite a gluey mess on my page, actually, which is not what I was intending to get so much so far out to the sides, but that's all right. So we'll pop that about there. Oh, now I'm getting it on this. My gosh. Let's just see if we can. Oh, it's getting so grubby. Yuck. But I've put big glue marks on it. Well, maybe we can stick something over. I don't know. It's actually rubbing off pretty well. Oh, and then I'm putting more of it back in the middle. Get away. Okay. Now we're going to add this little cat pocket on. Cute. And I think I'm going to go with double-sided tape for that. It's not the best thing for pockets, but it's the easiest thing. So that's why I quite often go with that as my my choice because it is the easiest pocket option. Um, so I'm going to just run this piece across the bottom and then I'm going to make another piece to go here. It's about the right size. And then I'm just going to rip it in half and then I can use half on each side I have got a narrower double-sided tape can't see it instantly and I'm not going to rummage so I just thought I'll just rip it's just about as easy so plop that in there plop that in there this is a cute little postcard I got this was a New Zealand artist I think that makes these I got them a couple of years ago when I was on a little family holiday in Picton uh, there was like a little like craft collective kind of store and they had these postcards for sale and I bought a bunch of them. Who does it say it's by? Bonnie Code. BonnieCode.com. Like B-O-N-N-I-E-C-O-A-D.com. So in case you're a New Zealander who's interested in this cute little postcard, Bonnie Code. Look at that. How sweet. Makes a great little pocket. So now I can tuck this beautiful, beautiful art piece in there. 
nice and safe. Uh, and then, oh, I've got this picture, but I wanted to put my cat pictures up here next to it. I'm now going to have to think about how I can include, I might need to make another tag that maybe pops some of these things in. I wanted to add this on. I think I might have that as like a little flip out part. I love that interactiveness. I love adding things like that, that kind of flip and move. I think that's just more fun than straight glued in. Love a good bit of interactivity in my journal. So we'll glue these ones on like this. That's good. I didn't get very, I knew I hadn't glued this on well. I actually feel like this, I don't know. I feel like I'm wondering if these glue sticks are not doing so great at the moment. I don't know because I feel like a lot of times recently it seems to just peel up. Maybe I just didn't get enough glue right to the edge because it does seem to be sticking okay now. But all of these corners just seem like I didn't get any glue on them at all. There we go. Good, good, good. I just, today, for Patreon, we swapped out my washi capsule. So I've got a brand new little washi capsule here, which was really fun to do. And I'm very excited about it because I was getting quite bored of the tapes I had in my last one I'm really liking having more color I had a lot of brown and while I still have a fair amount of brown there is a lot more color in this as well which is exciting to the eyes I'm actually going to go with this one I think to tip this in so let's get that on here about like that I'm getting too many things on my desk here too many things piling up um, and we'll pop that in there and I don't want it to take up too much of this cute like border I want to I want to leave like a good amount of that edge um, so that can go there like that and then we'll put another bit on the inside this is a Gemma Koeman illustration thing it's beautiful again not again I don't know why I said again uh, I think I do know why. It's because I was writing in my journal about some some things that Katie, my sister, gave me earlier. And I forgot that I hadn't actually said any of that out loud. I just wrote it in my journal. Uh, but Katie will get things like she'll order something and it will come with like a little free thing like this. And then she's like, I don't need the free thing. So she gives it to me. She's really good at getting rid of stuff. I'm really haughty. Uh, the other day she gave me, what was it? These cute little things. Look how sweet these little cards are. They came as just like a little bonus thank you extra for something she ordered. And she was like, I wouldn't use these. So she gives them to me and I'm like, cool. They're adorable. I want them for my journal. This needs to go on the edge somewhere. I'm going to make that a little tab. I'm just going to cut that down. Give that a bit of a straighter edge. That, and then I think I'm going to double-sided tape that on like that. It'll stick out a little bit because I'm loving having tabs. You can see them down here. I'm loving having tabs on this journal. Uh, but I don't need to have the, it stick out too far. Else. It's just going to get really like crumpled and bent. Okay, so let's just pop that in there like that. Come on, there we go. And then we can just add that on like this. Cute little tab. Just a little, it just sticks out a little bit, but that's perfect. Right. It's looking good. I'm really liking the warm tones of this so far. Um, I might pop that down here, perhaps. I just think that it kind of fills in this little space quite nicely. And I think I might just go in with my tacky glue here. Look how rusty that's looking. <laughs> Yuck. You can see this side, the glue's white over here where it was right with the needle in it, the pin. Uh, it's brown, brown and rusty. I need to do something about it. So in my, I recently talked about it in my, um, I think it was over on Instagram actually, uh, that I had, yeah, it was in my stories that my, I broke the lid on my tacky glue and I was so annoyed. Um, and that I had to keep a pin and I said, oh, back to rusty brown glue, I guess. And in case you didn't know, probably, probably I should have known, um, but somebody recommended using a stainless steel pin because it won't rust. And then someone else said, if you don't have a stainless steel pin, uh, you can put a coat of nail polish on your pin and it won't rust. So they were some excellent tips that I would like to pass on to you guys in case you're also in my position. 
Okay, let's have a look. I'm going back into my capsule box because we might have another little something to use. Um, like I could use this or I could use some of this maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. There's a tag. Let's see what we can do with that. So I'm just having a look. These look like they're going to be it's actually the exact same size. I could put that photo on there and tuck that in to the pocket because I'm just trying to think of, I need space to do my writing, um, but I also want to include all of my pictures and bits on here. So I've got to figure out how I want to do that. Did I write on this day? I did. So I've got a good amount of info that I could add in here. Maybe I might do my little fold up trick. So let's just try that out. So I'm just folding these on the lines because this is three photos in case you couldn't hadn't had a look at it. This is three different photos that I've just left on a strip. So if I fold that one in there, fold that one there so that they're folded in the thirds each on the line of the photo, then I can add it on and it folds out so I can just glue it in one place. But I think I actually want to fold it the other way perhaps like this. Because I think I want it to pull out off the page like that. So it doesn't cover up my writing. Um, so I think I'll go ahead and I'll glue that on there. Because that gives me a bit more space than if I glued all three of them on. So that will work, I think. Let's. I'm going to go in with tacky glue again for this. Because I'm getting kind of annoyed at my glue stick. Um, so here we go. I'll get this on. I really need to fill up this tacky glue bottle too. Ooh, oh no. At least this postcard is quite shiny, and that's going to just wipe off. But that was not a good move. I'm glad I didn't do that onto, like, my writing paper. I'm just going to add a little more glue there now, because it's just a little bit not great. And then we will pull that up, and we're going to just stick that on. Stick that on like that. So now this can just pull out, and I can see... Uh, all the photos there but it sort of stays in a smaller space and then maybe we'll put this on here onto that little tag I could just trim it down a tiny bit and glue it onto the tag and that might work having some coffee having some coffee um so I'm gonna just trim this down just like a tiny bit it's really not gonna cut off a lot but I just want to narrow it down so that we, it fits on the tag just a wee bit better. See how that's just fitting there a little better now. Uh, and then I think I'll put it down uh, up the top maybe like this. And then I think I'm going to write spot or something. I don't know. I'm going to write some sort of little title on there I think. And then I can write on the back more if I want to about the details. There we go. that in just about there. Brilliant. That's looking good. So that can also get just tucked in the little pocket. And so now we have a good amount of space to write there. And if I take that out here, so we've got a good amount of space to write. I can write on the back of this if I need to. Also, add a push if I really needed to. The inside of this is a little, there's, there's a few decorations, but I could write in here if I wanted to um, add a push. But I don't think I'll probably have that much to say that I need to do that. But it's there as an option if necessary. I'm just going to put the, that over the top of that so it kind of holds it down. Is there anything else I want? I would like a date number, but I have yet to find my date numbers. Quite honestly, I'm yet to look really look i've got this one actually though i i have like a big folder that has heaps of date numbers but i do have this one that has some date numbers in it that i haven't sorted out yet so this was the 16th i'm just going to see if anything jumps out at me as a good 16 that feels really usable and would match with my page that's a 17 that's not you know right but it could work for the next day these ones are from belinda from visualized nz um I'm looking for what number? 17, was it? 16. 16 is what I'm looking for. Let's see if we can find any 16s. Uh, nothing 16 is jumping at me. 
but that's fine. We can keep looking, keep looking. There's more in here. Plenty more. Um, I'm finding like 15s and 17s. It's like it's teasing me. They're all just like right around the edge of the number that I need. Um, oh, I thought it was a 16. It was a 31. So I don't know why I thought that was a 16. That doesn't remotely look like a 16. Um, sorry guys, I'm really trying here. I'm trying to find something that will work. I don't even really care what it looks like. Just, oh, 16 would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, I keep seeing all of these 17s. I have so many 17s, it would seem. A 16, this is one of my printables. Um, um this is one of the Solstice printables on Etsy. It's not the solstice, obviously, but it was a lovely sunny day now that I think about it because I was outside taking a lot of these photos and it was a really pretty day. So I am quite fine using this beautiful golden sunshine printable for this day because it was a really warm autumn day. So now where do I want to add this? Here or up the top here? Over here, here. Oh, I actually quite like it down here. I think I'm going to try and glue it onto the front of that postcard. I don't know how that will work, if it will stick down well, but we're going to give it a try because that postcard is really shiny and kind of almost plasticky. Um, it's not plastic, it's just very glossy. Um, but I do really like it overlapped there like that. So I'm just going to give it a wee moment, hope it sort of sticks, but I like it there. come on there we go I'm trying to one-handed get that pin lid back in there and that worked cool that's great so that was yeah this was 16 good I just wanted to double check probably should have checked well earlier than that was this did I get a number for this day oh I haven't what day of the week was this though was it a day of the week that my husband goes to the cheese factory because if no it wasn't because he made me eggs he would not have time on a cheese factory morning um that's fine Okay, I think that one's looking pretty good. I actually am really wanting to put some paint pen on here. I just think using like a mustardy goldy colour, I have one somewhere. Was this the one I'm thinking of? Is that it? I think this is the one I'm thinking of. I just think adding a wee border on here could look really good and sort of bring it together. You've got to really shake these, you've got to really shake them. Okay, that was probably not enough, but that's what we're going with. So, oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Now I'm going to try and bring that across here. Look at this. I'm just going to do like a sort of a doodly border that goes right across the both pages so that it pulls the whole thing into one cohesive looking spread. Uh, and it's not going to be able to go across the bottom here. That's fine. Um, and then it's going to just jump out the bottom of that and come down here like that. Let's see if I can get it in there. There we go. Okay, so that, I think, I might just do a few little dot dots around the place. I do like how the dot dots things together I think when you go over the top of your layers so when you go in over the top of the postcard over the top of the writing paper the photos whatever I think that that can again help bring a bit of a cohesion like everything is sort of melding into one a little bit which can bring everything together quite well I'm just going to add a few up here I'm going to need to give this a wee second to dry now but not long these paint pens I don't find take too long to dry. I'm going to just add a few little dots in here and I think that's enough. I think that looks pretty good. So let's chat while we wait for it to dry. How have you guys been? Hope that last week was a nice week for you and I hope that this week is a really special, beautiful, magical week. Um, not much booked for this week for me, which is nice. I quite like a week that there's nothing much booked uh, at the, on Sunday, I'm just going to try and dab this. On Sunday, we will be in the city. It's James's auntie's birthday. I think it's her 65th birthday, maybe. Um, 
I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think she's turning 65, which is pretty, pretty cool. Retirement age, although she's not retiring yet. Um, yeah, so we're going to go visit with her, which will be nice. But other than that, I don't think I've booked really anything in, so that's lovely. I uh, went for a nice beach walk with my sister this morning and with Freya and Hazel, so that was really cool. Got to push Freya on the swing for so long, she just wanted to be pushed and pushed and pushed. Um, so that was fun. I bet I'm going to have sore arms tomorrow, though. Oh, it's making its way down. Um, I bet I'm going to have sore arms tomorrow from push how much I pushed her on the swing. She was, she was loving it, but she got so tired. She was so sweet. I could tell she was getting really tired because she got really quiet by the end of the swing swinging. Um... But yeah, we had a nice walk. This is getting close to being dry. I'm just sort of hurrying it along with the with the dabs. Um, yeah, okay, that's probably enough on there. I like how this looks. I think this is looking pretty good. So that's a good base, and then the writing will finish it off. So next day, this day was really fun. This day, this is a part, I wanted to just take this section out of this newspaper. This is our little local newspaper that comes out every fortnight, and it's just like our area. And um, this was an article about the awards that the cheese factory that my husband works at won. They were on the front page of the newspaper. Again, a very tiny newspaper, but it was a big deal, I think, for their company winning these awards. So, um you know, when I see little articles or whatever that feels like interesting or like something I might want to remember in the future, I will, or like an event that I've been to or something, I will cut them out of the newspaper and include them. So I thought I would include that because this is a part obviously of James's life. Um, so I'm going to just trim off that edge and I'll probably fold this up and tuck it in a pocket as well because I don't think it needs to be glued right down all over my page or I'll have no room for anything else. But um cool really cool so I can include that in my journal so that in the future we can look back um look back at that so we'll just fold this up sort of in half-ish like this there we go and then this might get popped in a pocket or something this was a lovely lovely card that I was sent from Jennifer Wilkin Pennock um on She's on Instagram. I'm just going to grab a little tape and just cover up her address. Let's just do that now so that we're not showing off her address to everyone in the world. I don't know if that covers it. I think it covers it mostly. Uh, but that could get glued in I'd, or tipped in or something. I'm not exactly sure. But she sent me this really beautiful card, which was so, so precious. It's just so stunning. So... Look, it's all that collage. You can see all of the different layers of paper and paint. Oh, it's just beautiful. So that was really special. So I want to put that in my journal. Uh, and then this night was the night James and I went to babysit Freya and Hazel because my sister and her husband wanted to go out for dinner. They go out for dinner after Freya's birthday every year um, and celebrate another year of being parents together, and so we were looking after Frey and Hazel, Hazel was asleep for the whole thing, because it was, we didn't get down there until about 7 p.m., but Frey was awake with us for about an hour before we put her to bed, and, uh, she planned a dance party for us, so this is a photo of us having our dance party that Frey had planned out, she also, as you can see, did James's hairstyle, put all of her little butterfly clips in his hair, so we had a dance party, we had a hair, hairdo event, we played with Play-Doh, we ate cream puffs, we read books, we had the best night, it was so fun. So I had those photos in there and I want to, obviously I'm going to include these in here because it's special. And then um, this was my YouTube video that went out that day. I'm just going to have a little more of my coffee. And this was the 17th, so this number could go on there that's again Belinda from Visualized NZ I'm just going to write that down oh I just remembered that I need to go back to that last page because I didn't do the punching and if you aren't following along with my journaling for this month you'll know that I am including a punch of some sort on every page because it's Allison's challenge from AJ's inspired life so how am I going to include a punch of some form on this page I'm really tempted to do like I did um, over here with these circles. I just really kind of love that. And it's something I haven't 
thought of doing really until uh, this challenge has sort of pushed me to do it. I kind of want to include like a little swatchy bit of painty paper or something that I can just punch, 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 punch with this. So I'm looking around to see if I have any good little painty paper pieces around here that I could punch from or even scrapbook paper or something. I don't know. Just something kind of cute that I can punch out and pop down there. Could punch out a bit some music. No, wait, I was thinking it was this day again because of our dance party, but I could still punch out some music. Let's just punch one piece out and see how it looks, and then I can punch out more if I decide I like it. Where did it go? Oh my gosh, where did it go? I literally just punched it. And I, oh, there it is. I couldn't see it at all. Um, Like, you know, something like this and just make like a little three... Three little circles, music or something. I'm not sure if music's the right one, but I'm going to keep this for in case for another time because it's cute, but I just think it's blending in with this paper behind a little much for me. Let's have a look here. I've got this nice yellow paper. Maybe we could punch some of this. One. Two, and then we'll do a third one. I need to punch some tin foil or something because it's not that sharp. There we go. One, two, three. Let's see how these look. If I just sort of line them up. Look how cute that is. I think that looks cute and adds another fun layer to my page. I'm going to do that. Um, and I'm going to start them from this end of the photo and sort of move them across. I'm just going to trim this one because it's a little bit of a raggedy edge there. Let's glue them down. They're really cute. Alison, I'm loving this challenge. It's definitely, definitely making me use my punches way more than I ever, ever, ever would have. So I'm really, really excited to be doing this. And I'm still, still in thoughts with myself about if I've finished this challenge, maybe I can buy myself a punch. Seems a little ridiculous, but it also seems like quite a bit of fun. And like you know, I don't have many punches, so... I, it's, I would choose something that I thought would be really useful. And, you know, good. Because now I'm really liking punches. I want to use punches more because I'm really enjoying it. Okay. So how does that look? Super cute on there. I love it. That adds that punched element to my page. Done. Moving back over here. I think this is going to get... Because it's a little bit wide to go this way. It could go here. Um, but if I'm going to do that, it'll probably get tipped in. I think. So maybe we tip it in. Do I tip it in there or in the middle? I'm feeling like maybe middle is best because this book, oh, it's just getting so full. It's getting so over full. I don't know how I'm going to handle this at the end of the month. And then this could get maybe popped in the envelope while I've got it here. I also need to look at my capsule because I want to be using up more capsule items. I could maybe use this envelope instead and just transfer this out from in there and pop it into this one because this would be using something up. This envelope, while it's lovely, it, it you know, this envelope's a bit more, a bit more done up. Um, so that could get popped in. I don't know. I'm not sure. What else happened that day? Oh, it was the babysitting day. Of course, of course, of course. Um, was that the day I made bean soup for myself for lunch? What day was that? I didn't write it down, I don't think. It might have been that day, though. I think it was. So I think I have to use that for the day I had bean soup. Um, because when else would I? Um, okay. Okay. So that's good. Oh, don't knock the coffee. It's a good start. We've got something happening there. I'm still unsure if I want to use this envelope or this envelope. I'm going to use this one because I have to use up my capsule stuff. I am going to tear off the cute like stamp postage part because I like that. So we'll use that bit on here some oh, somewhere on the page maybe. I'll try and include that cute stamp. Um. And then in here, yeah, will be the beautiful card, and I'll probably tuck that in there as well. We need to put down our base writing papers. I think we're going to go with one of those same pieces that we just had before. If I can find it, where did I put them down? My gosh. 
Where did I put it down? Oh, it's just under the rest of the newspaper. I'm going to go with one of these again because they're just accessible and right here and easy to get to. So let's cut it down a ways. I don't know if that was the right place or not, but that's where we're cutting it for now. Does it fit? Needs a little more off. Let's just cut it there. Like that. How does that feel? That feels good. And then we'll put another one here. I was just looking because this is where the line side is. So this side, I'm going to put it over that way so that we just mix it up a little bit. And I've got this piece of scrapbooking paper, which I used recently. And it's pretty, like, it's got these Pahutakawas on it. It's actually a Christmas, New Zealand Christmas paper. But I feel that with writing over it, you will barely see that. And it's, like, just a nice, I might actually just cut it like that. Um, it's just a nice sort of right, how wide do I need this? about there's good it's just a nice sort of writable space I think it's kind of decorative but it's not uh, it's certainly right onable isn't it like it's quite pale so you wouldn't really notice that um you wouldn't really notice it like the pattern being too bad if you've got writing on it gosh my words aren't coming out let's get these glued on I really need to find my glue pages. Where are they? Because I'm trying to just do it in my book and I don't think that's actually very wise. I don't know where my glue pages are, so we're just going to do our best here. And sort of turn, turn, turn like this. Because I just want the gluey part to get in the middle where I'm already going to have this glued on top of. If that makes sense. Does it go that way? Yes, like this. Oh, it's going to say wonders of migration still. That's perfectly fine. There we go, that one's on there, I've got glue on my fingers. I'm just gonna use this little paper towel, try and get most of it off. There we go, and now we'll glue this one on. Oh, there's our cute dance party photo. That was so fun. She has the best, she just can move, man. My gosh, Frey can move. She just really feels the music and just gets into it. It's just gorgeous to watch. My gosh, I had the best time just watching her dance because she just, has so much fun. It was very cool. She loves dancing. And it's funny because James does not dance. I mean, he's not even bad at it. He's just, I mean, I mean, what's good dancing? I don't really know. Neither, we're probably not good dancers. We just have fun dance, or I have fun dancing. He doesn't. He doesn't dance very often, and I always try and force him to dance with me at, like, weddings and stuff, and he would normally give me one song, so, but he got really into dancing with Freya. He's, he's, he's a lot more willing to dance when it's with kids than it is with me, which I guess is fair enough. Um, all right, let's tape that in. We're going to have that flip out, unless, wait, what does the other side look like again? No, no room. I was thinking I could put this, this part here around the page, but I think we're going to go this way. Uh, I love that pixie caramel wrapper in there. It's so fun. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this orange zigzaggy tape. I just have a feeling it's quite a good one for sticking things down. Like, I think it's quite sticky. Um, and this is just so bitsy that I'm hoping that I need, you know, I need a good tape that's going to really hold it. And it's shredding. So that's a great start, isn't it? Gosh. I hate when washi tape shreds on me. There we go. That's that's much better. We'll pull off that really weird narrow part. And let's go ahead and see if we can get this tipped onto our paper. That's so wonky. Let's try again with getting that to work. That's better. Better. There we go. And then we'll put some move my coffee out of the way and we'll put some tape on this side then we can tuck the beautiful card into the pocket and our newspaper clipping into into the pocket and it can go there like that wonderful that's nice and stuck on that feels really firm which is just what I wanted and then we'll pop our beautiful card in there I love it so much um, I'm thinking about refolding this a little bit so that it folds over 
because the cards are a wee bit wide. So I'm just going to refold that down. Hope you can see what I'm doing there so that it covers over the card, but it, it just, I don't know. That's the plan there. That's looking fine. This will get folded again, I think. Golden Cheesy Grins at Barry's Bay. We'll tuck that also into the little pocket. Here I've got my beautiful soup, bean soup. So that's going to get stuck on about there, I think. Um, this cute little bit. I'm going to just tear the top because I just want it sort of to look torn the whole way around. Um, I want less of this white part. I don't need so much of it. Kind of like that. I'm going to try and make it a little more circular. I'm just sort of trying to fiddle around with it until it feels right for me. There we go. Like that is cute. And then we'll add our little photos in on here. I like this. I think this is looking good. This one might become another... Yeah, it's too long to go right across unless I sort of put it right across like this. I just want to have enough space for writing as well. However, I can, of course, put a journal card in the pocket if I want to. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I want to lay this out. Hmm. <laughs> I know I like this here, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick it. Stick it down because I'm happy with that placement down there. I think it looks good. Oh, it was such a fun night with Frey. She had the best time. We had the best time. There's something very fun about being with children, isn't there? They just have such a beautiful excitement about life that is really fun to be around. Everything is so exciting, you know? So I'll pop that down there like that. I've literally had this magazine cut out for a billion years. So long. I'm so excited that it's found a home in here. Um, do I want to have this one folded in so that that part just flips out? That might go kind of there so that the fold goes in the crease of the page. And then this could... Hmm. Hmm. Don't know. Oh, and I have this to add on too. This might get stuck down on here, I think, because... It doesn't need a prime position. It just needs somewhere to go so that I can see what my videos were at this time. You know, it's just interesting looking back at what I was what I was filming and creating because obviously my creating is a big part of my life and I like to include that. Uh, do I want to add this like on the front here somewhere? This doesn't really show up very well. It just sort of blends into all of the chaos of the envelope, doesn't it? It's my thought anyway. Unless I backed it on something, perhaps. But I don't know. Do I want anything out of my capsule? This is a cute little thing of a little fairy girl on a mushroom. Um, this little thing could work. This little arrow could be fun. I don't know. That doesn't need to be in there. Uh, did she say anything? Did Frey say anything that was hilarious? Probably. Oh, yes. Yes. We were singing Who Let the Dogs Out so much. She loves that song. And it's a song that I introduced her to about a year ago. And then we haven't played it again for, a, like, probably almost a year since we last played Who Let the Dogs Out. And I showed it to her again, and she'd forgotten the song. But she, once again, every time I show it to her, it's, like, her favourite song. She loves who let the dogs out. Um, so let's cut this one out. This one's from Belinda. I said that, I think. Uh, yeah, so maybe I'll put who let the dogs out or something in that little speech bowl because that's from my capsule. So I really wanted to use that this month. I think I'm making pretty good progress on the old capsule, I think. Um, I'll have to have a count up and see how much I've got left. But I think for where I'm at in my journaling, I think overall I'm doing okay. Where do I want that? I don't mind that there. It's just sort of very layery um, down here. I feel like two down here doesn't look right to me. I kind of want it peer. I kind of want it actually under. I think I want to see if I can peel that up a little bit. 
and see if I can tuck the 17 under there. Let's see if that looks better. No, it doesn't. So forget that. Uh, I might put this on here and then that can flip up and have our dance party on the back of that. That's kind of fun. And then this... I wonder if I could cut it down enough that it would fit on here. If I gave a trim off that side and a trim off that side, I think it would. I think we could make that work. Down the, do I want it down the bottom or up the top? If I have it up the top, then this one's going to come over it and flip up. That's fine. I don't mind that. Okay, we're going to give this a little trim. Or probably a pretty decent trim, actually, to try and get this to fit. But I think that we can do it. I think that that should be, yep, that fits now. Amazing. Amazing. I love it. And I put that photo of James and Freya together on the inside because I, uh, on the middle, because I really liked that one. I wanted that one kind of centered. Although I'm actually thinking, like, do I want to put this like this and sort of have the who let the dogs out like that and then our little flippy fold up part. Yeah, okay, actually, I'm liking this. I'm changing my mind as I go. It's all You're hearing all of my inner thoughts as I'm going. I'm really letting you in on everything that's flashing through my brain. Let me just get some glue on this. And then I'm going to write who let the dogs out on that little thing. Cause she, Gosh, she loves that song. It's so funny. Is that my, yep, there's my dance party pack. This might have been better with tacky glue because it's a little bit shiny. So that's going to fold up. So that photo needs to go on like that. That way there. Love it. And for this, it's very shiny, so I'm going to need a, a ballpoint pen for sure on that. It's certainly not going to work with anything else. Um, I'm just sort of practicing it. Okay. Just sort of wanted to sort of visualize roughly how big I needed this to be. Who let... The dogs I wish that had come across more. I, I'm not happy with how that's placed, but whatever. I think we might do a um Maybe I'll stick one of these little dog stickers on there. Maybe that will help. Wish I had a possum sticker because she told me it was probably possums that let the dog out. I love her. I love her so much. And I hate where I put that dog too. Let's see if we can peel that up. I want it further up if I even want it at all. Let's just see. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We might put another one that kind of overlaps maybe. I wish I'd just placed those letters better. I even practiced and still didn't get it nice and aligned how I would have wanted it. I'm going to tacky glue this on because it's cardboard, like sort of a, a thin cardstock. But um, medium, let's say medium cardstock. That way I just will know it will stick down. And then we'll add another little dog sticker, I think, down here. Um... I think we're going with this Dalmatian. It's going to go over like that, I think. And then I've got a few little bones here, which we will stick around as well, just to kind of fill in some of these little gaps. Like that. I don't know. Do we want more? I think I'm going to maybe regret this, but it's fine. <laughs> Let's see, I've gone quite quiet. Sorry, I've gone really quiet now that I'm sticking down these little bone stickers. And then I want one more little one. In 
up in here somewhere. And maybe one more up here. And now I'm going to go wild. I can see this for myself that I, I often do this. And go, I'll just end up with more than I ever intended. That's fine. That's fine. And now I want to tape this on. So let's pull out that tape again. Where did I put that one? Here. Guys, I think I've been filming a while now. It feels like I've been filming a while. I think that I my, my voice is getting sore from all the talking. So I'm going to have to check how long we've been filming because it could be way longer than I think. Try again, try again. There we go. Good, good. Where do I want this little 17... I want this tucked in behind a little bit. Can I lift that up? If I lift that up, how does that look tucked in there? Yeah, that's fine. Let's go with that. I'll just tuck that sort of in behind there. Like that. And then I'll trim off the edge. And I'll just add a little more tacky glue under here just to stick that back down there we go trim that off there we go looking cute looking cute I'm thinking about actually cutting this off because I'm not really liking now that it's folded either so I'm just going to Give that a trim off. It doesn't need to have the whole like envelope flap part. It can just be a pocket. I actually am going to trim it a little further right down to where that is so that it's the same both sides. And then maybe for our punched element, we might be really original and unique and punch like a tab thing. Uh, and when I'm saying that, I'm being absolutely sarcastic because it's so unoriginal and ununique. Ununique, is that a word? No. Uh, let's take everything out of the pocket first, but I think for our punch, we're going to go and make like a little thing like that. Oh, that didn't punch because again, it's plastic. There we go. And then I also kind of want to round the corners on it. Call me crazy. Call me crazy. I don't know why. I'm just loving rounded corners on most things currently. So this is also a punch. If I can get this to sit, uh, push that in like that and just sort of wrap oh it didn't, didn't go well either try again this side at the very least with this it gives you kind of a mark of where you then have to go back in with your scissors and round it yourself so I'm counting that as also punched despite the fact that I am actually cutting it with scissors now at least the punch was attempt attempted uh there we go so now with that I can tuck this into the little pocket there and it's just peeping out a little bit which is fine and then um this little thing will go in here too and I can do my writing how long have we been going I am guessing quite a while 53 minutes and I'm not even in frame there we go that's gonna be where we leave it for today we managed to get two pages done only but I'm very happy with how they both turned out what do you think I hope you enjoyed that video I will catch you again very soon friends bye